Hello and welcome back to Second Play's Wizard of Legend. That's right, Wizard of Legend. The last loss hurt quite a bit. Um, so ho hopefully this loss will not. Whoa, there's like a seven. Oh man, there's like a master stone for each of the each of the elements. This was dangerous information to give me for sure. You got to. After evading an attack. <laughs> That's funny. It's funny that the game would assume I could evade attacks. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's go through some relics and see if, if we can find out like a build we want to do. I kind of want to try a build. Like just like a, uh, you know, like, like what, like what kind of build do we want to do here? Maybe it's time for orbital build again. Yeah, let's do orbital build. I got a good tip in the comments from uh, the guy you might know as Canadians360, who told me that maybe using that that relic that when you have melee arcana, it breaks projectiles could be really good because like. Yeah, this one. And then we'll take... Okay, here we go. This is what we're going to do. And then we'll do orbitals. Check it out. This is like the... This has got to be the best orbital-based thing. Also, it's melee. Yeah, screw you archers. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Real quick, though. Real quick, though. Hang on. You, you, oh, you thought I would forget. And I did forget at the end of the last video. Is Chaos Arcana all Arcana? Okay, so here we have on... Rudra's pinwheel and we're gonna hit spacebar and we're gonna count the numbers There's fives. They're all fives basically. Okay. Almost every one of those was a five All right, check it out. Then we go back to our flat gauntlets Come over here What's this? Yeah, so I think it's not and That small test is conclusive for me. So there you go. We'll do Ignition Rush, because that creates a circle around us. Then, for our other orbital, you know we have to do these little ice spinners. Where'd they go? Where's my little ice blades? Give me the ice blades. There we go. Okay, these are perfect. And then for our max orbital... Oh, no, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Here, check this out, okay? Boom! Earth and Aegis. That's a shield. That's right. Oh. You're like, who's this smart guy? Where'd Zekin go? All right, this has got to be good. Let's check and see if there's anything cool we want to take here. Definitely not chance to lose. I read chance to lose and then I move to the next one. Hmm, exploding enemies doesn't work out. Pits no longer appear in rooms and hallways. Yes, we'll get that. I know it shouldn't be the case, but I pits have my number. I, I, I. I see a pit and my whole body is like, well, you should try walking in that pit. Maybe you can fly this time, second. And I never can fly. Oh, the shield looks cool. All right. Straight away, we've got a cursed relic that I'm pretty sure is bad. Both objectively and subjectively. All right, I f I'm feeling good so far about this run. I'm feeling good about how, how tanky we are. I'm not taking that relic. It's a cursed relic. It does something with your health or something like that. No no way. You can't make me take it. You know what I mean? I like that we have the inclusion. You guys might be indifferent about this, but I like the inclusion of the dash that puts a circle around us. That feels super on theme. Also, uh, I was told that orbitals... Lariat would be included as an orbital. No one, no one, no one seemed to object to my slightly, uh, let's say, wishful thinking on that. So I'll, if I see the Lariat, I'm going to take it. If I see something that's more obviously an orbital, though, I'd, I'll prefer that for sure. Like, there's, there's more. Because now we can get spinny blades, because we don't have that, because we took shield, right? So... 
Yeah, I don't know. Ah, enemies like this are gonna be tough. Enemy enemies like this, where we just need to do a lot of damage to them, are gonna they're gonna be tough because we don't do a lot of damage. This build is more like tank. It's like the tank build. Now this is this is the guys shoot laser beams out of their eyes. One thing that's true about this build that's like less true about other builds though, is that we kind of have 360 coverage against attacks. Whereas normally I barely have like I would say 30 degrees of coverage at the directly in front of my character. Oh man, we somehow got we somehow got our signature charged up. What does this signature even look like? Oh looks cool. Looks cool as heck. Nice. Okay, what do we got here? Increases the damage all movement. I sleep. We we don't use any movement arcana. Each fire arcana increases the chance of dealing double damage to our account use. That could be good. Signature charges faster low health, that could be good. Enhances your dance. Yeah, that could be good. Restore dash charge. Okay, so this is actually this is the good one. Because this will sometimes we'll just we'll be able to dash. We'll be able to fire shield, but more importantly, dashes evades all attacks now. You see, and that means that when we dash, we have like a, a few windows of iframes. We kind of want CDR. CDR is huge. I know there's the cursed relics over there. I'm gonna wait till the before the boss. I just kind of want to. I want to feel out the build, you know. I'd also like a champion relic that says lancers can't do their their BS spells later. That would make me very happy. But the main things we're looking for here are. Cooldown reduction to our Arcanas. Look at this. See, we got that 360 covered. So this rogue's sneaking up behind us, but the, the, the glowy flowers are messing them up anyway. Not something that uh, usually occurs, right? So. Ooh, this is, this is not, a, this is not, I would not count this as an orbitable. Orbitable. Wow. Orbital, even. This is also not an orbital. So, uh, get out of here, Arcana Vendor. Maybe next time, buddy. I mean, we also have the money. So we, we couldn't afford it even if we wanted it, but whatever. I, I'll, I'll pretend like it's my choice. Because that will make me feel better at the game, so. I'm so very, 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 very tempted by what that Chaos Relic is. I'm not going to take it, because the last time I took a Chaos Relic, I didn't know what it did. It absolutely ruined the run. And then the second last time I did it, I accidentally gave myself 0% crit chance. But both of those were turned out to be really bad ideas. Okay, this is kind of like this is kind of like my nightmare, I think. <laughs> this kind of boss where it's just like you just have to do a lot of damage. Um is kind of my nightmare. Okay, so I get hit by all three of those attacks when I wanted to get hit by none of them. Just to be clear about how many attacks I wish to get hit by. So we're not going to get the health potion yet. Increases crit chance could be good. Damage increase when max health is reduced. Armor... Okay, let me walk you through my thought process here. We deal like no damage and we're focusing on being tanky and we can evade all the attacks. So if I play properly, the fact that I take double damage shouldn't screw me. And also it's at the start of the run, which means that I'm going to be taking double damage for the entirety of the run instead of just near the end when it would be most useful. So now, now that I've talked through the decision, I, I, I feel regret. Deep, deep regret. But this is my promise to you. No matter what happens, due to my actions here, this run's going up. It's going on to the YouTubes. You know, e even if that is embarrassing. And likely it will be. Okay, this I think this sw swings a hammer around us, but... I don't think that counts as an orbital. Now, homing flares might literally count as an orbital. I'm not yet willing to spend money 
because maybe there'll be a uh, arcana in the sh or a relic in the shop that like actually helps the build by providing us either with more uh, cooldown reduction or maybe like more cooldown reduction. So. Very nice. Or health. I think I would actually take something that gave me health this run. Yeah, get out of here, man. Ooh, dang. We got our, uh... Signature charged. Oh, and perfect. There's no one around for days. Isn't that wonderful? I'll just pop it in case we just should happen to run into some enemies. I mean, it's gonna kill a lot of the boxes for us, so that's nice, right? Being near to the explosives will kill us. Will kill us dead, so. I'd love to see, like, a increases the number of uh, health orbs or something like that, I think. Ah, get out of here, Pikeman! Get out of here, Pikeman! That's right. The extra damage is definitely coming in clutch, by the way. Even though it also might be my downfall. It, currently, it's saving me from having to be in these rooms for longer. Which is, which is actually, like, I think it's saving me a lot more HP than you might think. Which is kind of sad. Here's the thing. This will give us more max HP and lower cooldown. So it's like, it's gotta be the right thing, right? Like, we've basically, we've got, it's gotta be. The increased HP is gonna be huge long run. That's about it. The CDR is also good. Like we, listen, we, more cooldown reduction. All that means at the end of the day. Wow. Okay. If we don't just die in this room, I mean, what that means at the end of the day is more uptime on shield arcana. You know what I mean? More uptime on earth shield, earth and Aegis. And like, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna buy the health anyway. So we may as well waste all of our health before we buy it. Right? I have to, with this build, remember something that I'm not going to remember, which is that I need to put the shields up before charging in. I need to like press my buttons and then dash in. Okay, what do we got here? Mystery, no thanks. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. None of this, we want none of that. We would maybe take this sweet raccoon boy Or this, the, the, the thing where you can buy stuff with, with your health. I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to try out Homing Flare. I'm going to press it. Oh, yep, yeah, that's an orbital. That counts. That counts 1,000%. 1,065%. That counts for me. If it doesn't count for you guys, I totally understand that. You're wrong, of course. But uh, it, that for me, I mean, it orbits us. Literally, it orbits us, so what do you want? I get that it doesn't only orbit us, but the build's not called things that exclusively orbit nothing else. It's called orbital build, okay? And if it orbits at all, for me, it counts. Look at this, look at this. Playing safe, not taking our entire health bar damage. Feels good, man. Just going to the next floor here. 250 damage is bad. It's bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, Wind Sovereign Shoe. More like Wind Sovereign Shooks. Am I right? Okay, one, two. This is a very strange thing because we don't really deal a lot of damage. We're like our quote unquote burst phase. You know, we, we kind of like, actually we deal like almost no damage with our burst phase. It's kind of sad. Oh, nice. I like when that's the second one. Okay. This one I learned the other day. Just walk. Just walk and take lots of damage. I didn't learn that the other day. Last time I just walked in a straight line, I took no damage from it. So I wanted to do that again. Nope. 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 No, thank you, sir. No, thank you, sir. 
You gonna do your, your twister move now? Think you're cool, man? Think you're cool because you got a twister move? You ain't cool, fool. Should have stayed in school. Alright. That was bad. That was a bad fight. This doesn't... That's fire yo-yo, I believe. Which does not count as an orbital. 126 damage on that boss is not super de duper. But at least we have... Uh, the Electric Twins last, who everybody knows I'm super good at fighting, so that should be no problem whatsoever, right? The inclusion of the of the, the homing the homing flares or whatever they're called is 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 a good one in the build. It's a good one for the longevity of this build. Because it just ups the damage by like that much, you know? Cause that that's what this build is. It's like it's a lot of basic work. Like, it's a lot of work with... A lot of damage is being put onto your basic here. You know, because the orbitals just... They're not always up. Can you imagine if this room had pits in it, dude? Like, how much I would just die to it? How much I'm just dying anyway? Even though there's no pits to be spoken of? How am I covered with orbitals? And these guys are still chunking me. Hmm? Hmm, game? You wanna talk about that to me? You wanna explain that? Oh, the dash, the dash of all dashes there. Yeah, die muscle wizard. Think you're cool with your muscles, bro? Well, yeah, well, I've got orbitals. I'm going up against Freya, Freya's like, uh, you have orbitals, haha. Uh, can you spot an evil ice cluster that kills all of your foes every time and it's really hard to dodge? Which which means that it's really hard to miss. The answer is I can't, Freya. I can't do that. Why you gotta make me feel bad about it though? Two things are really coming together on this run so far. One, the dash where I can evade all of the attacks is uh, making me extremely happy. Uh, just genuinely, I'm feeling joy. Um, because sometimes I dash and I see the big red leathers that just scream, EVADE! And then I'm like, nice, dude. Yeah, we have no lightning skills, so good luck for that one. Alright, here we go. Receive double relic drops? No thanks. Overall signature games? No thanks. Reduce cooldowns by having received double damage? Oh, man. We gotta think about this one. Double toil would make us take 4x damage, but we would have our stuff up always. Man, that's a toughie. That's a toughie. We're, we're just gonna have to take healing potion, I think, and carry on. And not worry too much about our cursed relics. I think the Cursed Relics are kind of a trap here. We might take the Magician one just because uh, if we get the Magician's hat or whatever from the shop, like, I love... That's just a very good combo to have, so... But uh, if we if we can't get that one, then, uh, you know... I think that's the least downside-y Cursed Relic. I do think we have to take Cursed Relics. I think we're in a position where, uh, because we need damage so badly, I think we, we do have to take them. And I do think that Double Toil would be the best in the hands of a good player, but uh, again... Am I a good player? The answer in my heart of hearts is yes. But the answer on paper is absolutely not. Alrighty. I think I know where my Arcana Vendor is, at least. Yep. Ooh, Trace Barrage, Tearing Whirlwind, that could be cool, or even more Earth Shield. And the answer here, of course, even more Earth Shield. That's huge. You like to see that, actually. Look at how many Earth Shields there are, dude. It's Crash Colossus again? Hello, game? Are you trolling? How could you, how could you even dare? 
I feel like I ran into those stones and that shouldn't have counted as me taking damage. All right, all right, let's see. Who are the relics again? Oh man, I want to take the double cooldown, double damage just for the memes, but I, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do that. I can't do it. Cause like, I'll just definitely die. Because what if it doubles twice? What if it doesn't just get like 1x? What if it goes from like 2x to 4x as opposed to 2x to 3x? You know what I mean? Think about that. I don't want to think about that. That would be terrifying. It already sucks at 2x, man. Oh wait, I don't have 2x damage. I just have way less health. I mean, it still would have been bad. Okay, okay, okay. Taking all that damage, that was a big ouch. Big ouchie. I can't take that Arcana. I don't know what it is, but I, I don't think that it's an orbital, so. I refuse. I refuse to willingly take something. I don't know if it's an orbital on the all orbitals run. Something, oh, for a Magician's Outfit. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, we're taking this. 100% because now we're a freaking Magician, man. The increase the damage of all Arcana adds a chance to enhance and lower the cooldown of Arcana when used. That's right. That's right. I think we're going to take that cake. I think we take the cake. I take lots of damage, so... We could also take more health for each Relic held, though, for sure. Okay, so we have the Magician's Outfit. See, now, the, now it, I look so smart for taking that Cursed Relic, even though it was just Variants. I'll take it though. I don't care if it's just variance that makes me look smart, man. This is huge. The chance to enhance Arcana when we use them and lower the cooldown is like, hello? Just sometimes our Arcana is much better than it actually is? Yes, please. Now we're, now we're a magician with our orbitals, dude. We're blending. All right, what is this? Increases chance to evade. Nope. No way. No way. Yes. Yes. Here's my thought process on that one, okay? We like barely even get signature anyway. So it's like most rooms, all this means is that we still don't get signature. On some rooms, where we don't take bad damage, this means we might get our signature. You know what I mean? That sounds great. That sounds wondrous. Splendiferous, even. Like this room. We wouldn't have got signature without that relic. But now, instead, we got signature. And we used it to truck these fools. Now this run's starting to come together. But a dangerous thing is happening at the same time, which is that I'm starting to believe. And historically in this game, whenever I start to believe is around the time that I start losing. What do we got here? What do we got here? Anything good? Ignition dash could be good. Or explodes. That could be cool. Holding flares. Wait, that's just going to enhance this one forever. Yeah, we'll take that. If we have the money for it, I think we need to still get our health potion actually. Let's see about the health potion thing. Oh man, oh man, oh man, you hate, you hate to see that, you hate to see that. Come on, come on. You've just gotta believe. You've just gotta believe in the heart of the card. You gotta, gotta believe in the heart of the cards, man. I'm loving the build though. The build's coming together in a, in a way that's pleasing. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get the health potion, we still have it, beautiful. Beautiful, absolutely legendary. Oh, after our boss then. 
I think I would prefer to actually upgrade the homing flares, but I think that the right choice, despite what I would prefer, is is to not. You know what I mean? Like, because, think about it. With that relic, we can get out of kind of this health deficit that we're in. And you know we're gonna take damage. It's not like I could just be like, oh, duh, it won't take any damage, and this relic will be useless. No, I'm gonna take a ton of damage. You know what I mean? Like, like I take lots of damage in this game. It's really unfortunate. All right, we can perfect this boss. We've perfected her before. We can perfect her again. What's she got? What's she doing? What's she doing? This is the this is the dumb one. Don't care about that one. Big sword. Cool story, bro. Giant slow balls. This this one's the. Oh no, we didn't perfect her. <laughs> she really she really let loose the the, the floods of war there. Okay, one, two, three. Four. Okay, so now we can go in, get in there, crack her. You know what she's gonna do, right? She's gonna use her signature on this one. So we wanna be like here, and then do the real slow walk around. Real slow walk around while she's out. She's out. I'm gonna count this as a, I'm gonna call this an honorary perfect if we don't get hit again. Okay, well, we did get hit again, but it was just a little bit, so not a big deal. And then we gotta hit some more. But uh, but other than that, it was an honorary perfect. Okay, gotta leave. Gotta get out of this floor. Only 30 damage taken. It, that could be much worse. Those numbers could be much higher. I wish you could unlock this outfit all the time. This is a dope outfit. I mean, with the bonuses it gives too would be amazing. Obviously though, I just mean like the aesthetic of the outfit. If somehow you could unlock the power of the outfit at all times, I feel like that would be the only cloak anyone would use. This relic is uh, has a non-zero impact. Whenever our, our signature runs out, which like literally it's about to do, we gain a shield. Look at that shield. You see that? You see that blue number? That's a shield if I've ever seen one. Does the shield not decay? Do we just have the shield forever now? Do we have the shield forever? Have I just been, like, straight sleeping on, like, an amazing relic because I, I thought the shield would decay? Because if the shield doesn't decay, like, holy crap. L like, let it, let it run out. On purpose. Increase damage based on number of relics. Decrease gold cost for all relics. You can buy relics with life. All knights and lancers. I want, I want actually every one of those. But we're going to take the, we're going to take the go-kart thing. No way. It can't be time for that. There's no way it could be time for a tiny crocodile heart, really. I think it's time for a tiny crocodile heart. I think the amount of time it takes for this relic to reach its useful status is not super high. Like, like it will be useful soon. I, because I think it's like five health per enemy that we kill, right? Maybe it's less than that, and, it was, and this was really dumb. We were at about 400 and something when we took it. 407 maybe, something close to that anyway. So it, as long as we are, we want to not be in that big shocky shocky area. Okay, let's let this Arcana run out, or this Signature run out, I think. Get that sweet shield. Just re letting it run out. Now, does it replace or add? Oh, it adds. Okay, nice. Because we Don't forget, there's a ton of mobs before the Sura fight as well, so... This is a good time to ult, for sure. This is very spooky. A very spooky town. Very spooky town. Whoa, we did get hit, but it didn't crack the shield. Didn't crack the shield, so it doesn't count. We want all of those relics, though, for real. Like, every one of those relics looks amazing. Man, this build is... It's cranking. It's doing some stuff, man. Oh, 
Oh man, no, taking damage there is so bad. So bad again. So bad to take damage here. You really can't be taking any damage is the problem. Like we're, like, we're doing good, but we just can't be taking any damage. We have to get to the Shock Boys. See, if we don't get to the Shock Boys right away, that stuff happens where we, where we, we have a really bad day. Because there's so the shock is not the problem damage wise. It's the it's what the shock does to you, status impact wise. It, like because it makes you sit there going for a second. Oh god. Oh, our health though. No, the health though. Okay, so we gotta go to our shop. We gotta buy health like immediately. And then I think we buy this one. And then we fight our boss. Oh man. No, 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 Oh, man. So much damage. So much damage is going out for this guy. Okay, well, he's dead. He's dead? What does this do? Defeating foes lowers active cooldowns. That sounds pleasant. So much damage taken there, dude. The shock... Shock temple is the worst. Shock temple with purple guys is double the worst. The reason why it's the worst, I'll tell you why. Number one, it's because the shock guys, like, it's, again, it's not their damage, dude. It's the CC. It's the fact that they, the shock makes you stand there like a numpty for, like, it's, what is it, like, like sometimes like a second where you just get shrek Now, I would sometimes just go and immediately wombo right into the boss, but I feel like that's the dumbest thing that I could possibly do. So I'm not, I'm going to go ahead and not do that this time. Because uh, I don't enjoy doing literally the dumbest things I can think of always. Even though you, you might <laughs> you might think differently based on watching these videos. Okay, dice of the nemesis do what? As a small chance of dealing massive damage to your critical... Sure, who cares? It's another relic for the relic that says we do more damage the more relics we have. This, this arcana... This arcana is not an orbital. Don't be... Don't be... Don't be drawn in by its flashy good looks. It's not an orbital. It you it's like something that you put in front of yourself and then you spin it. And that's awesome and good, but it, it ain't an orbital. Oh no. Oh no. We gotta get the shock mage. We gotta get the shock mage. Come on, shield. Come on, shield. Come on, shield. Save us, shield. Big. Big that we didn't take tons of damage. No, nope, I don't even want to fight those guys, man. I didn't even want to fight these guys. I would have rather fought more dudes than the boss, honestly. Maybe that's untrue. No! No! Get him into the corner and make him pay, man. <laughs> See, it, it the, the tiny crocodile heart has paid off. It has absolutely paid off. I've, I'm at 500 health, which is more health than I had. Um, now, I don't know how much of that is also that other one. Oh, this could be good. This could also be good. This could also be good. Th this is going to do nothing. We have to take... We ha absolutely have to take a uh, healing pot here. So, we're going to go home. We're going to hope that it's Relic Seller Guy. We're going to hope it's Relic Seller Guy and that we can buy everything that we need. So I, I just really right now, what I'm struggling with is like, how is this build going to beat Sura? You know what I mean? Like, it's not a bad build necessarily, but how am I going to beat Sura with it? You know? That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about the Surinator. No, 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 not, not like this, man, not like, don't die to rogues, don't die to rogues. 
So, so it's no longer optional, optional, sorry, when we get the health relic, we have to get it now. We absolutely have to get it now. And I'm also going to get the escape key uh, as soon as that we can. And, and we have to. There's no other, there's no options now. Because uh, that that is one of the ways we could beat Sura, is if we don't trigger escape key early. This, this, this room being here is just kind of a kick in the pants, isn't it? Right? Like, that's just seems like overkill, man. Oh, of course! Of course! Just, just summon more archers, game. Okay, okay, fine. Is this, is this the way you want to treat people, game? You know I hate archers. Why you gotta be like that, man? No, 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 no! Kill the rogue! Kill the rogue! Okay, okay. It is relic seller guy. Oh wait, no, this is stupid. Give him an Arcana and he'll give you another Arcana guy. That's that, that's completely unhelpful. Alright, so what are we going to drop? We're going to drop... We can't drop that. That would be good. We can't drop that. That would be good. We need that. So, we need that. We need that. We, we're going to drop this for the escape key. No way! This is like... I, I haven't gotten Crush Colossus this many times ever on a run, and it's like the run where Crush Colossus is like literally my worst boss and I just get him every time. That just seems such BM game. Like, I, you don't need to do this kind of thing to beat me. You just beat me normal. Just beat me normal game. Why, why you gotta, why you gotta do this? There's nothing to do but go down to the next floor. We got the boss coming up. And, like, this boss is not a boss I take zero damage on, you know? <sighs> okay. At least it's not Atlas. I still might die, but at least it's not Atlas. That's basically where I'm at. Okay, okay. So what can we do? Immediately. Take damage is not what you want to be doing, okay? Okay. What are we doing? Okay, this is this is easier to deal with, I think, than on some versions of this fight. Okay, and then he's doing one more. Yeah, it's toaster time. Yeah, we figured it was gonna be toaster time. It's back to toaster time already? That was like the world's luckiest positioning. Like I was already kinda heading down there, so oh Captain America, but fast. Ooh man. That felt good. He's alting? He's alting? Are you joking me, dude? How, how can he be alting already? He's not even at half health. No. No, the, the, the alt really... The, the alt threw me here. He's toaster time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh boy, they've got to die right now. Like they've got to die right now, and they didn't. So, Captain America is an attack I can dodge, though. He's alting again. Yep. That's GG. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like it. You hit the like button. Sorry about that loss. That must have been rough to watch. Uh, but I mean, we we tried our best, and I think uh, the decisions we made you know, weren't always the most optimal, but did what we could. Uh, yeah, anyway, hope you liked it. If you do, hit the like button, and uh, we'll see you next time.